Okie dokie. Howdy doody. It is the same day. I am recording in advance so much. So much, but besides the point, we're going to a ball. Not just any type of ball, but like a spooky Halloween ball. So we have to be ready for it. I kind of thought we should kind of focus more on like the Halloween side of stuff since I haven't really touched on that in a while. So I thought I might as well dress up like a little bit like a pumpkin. pumpkin -yella. So this person is like, first of all, props to this person for being super inclusive with their skin tones. It's unfortunate that we have to do it this way, but I'm really glad that they did. So they have, what is it? Let's see. So this is pumpkinella. Wow. Just like pure pumpkin. I love the ribbon design on the back. That is so beautiful. They also have pumpkinella, but like with um, a glowy face in the front. They have pumpkinella with like the white skin that's really cool very ultra pale they also have pumpkinella with just a regular cut out pumpkin nothing really in there and then they also have the same thing but with the white pumpkin version which i think is really really nice and that's kind of like the ones that i go towards so i'm really appreciative of that i think what i want to do is i just want to do the plain pumpkinella even though I'm like so tempted to do this very light one, I feel like it looks better with the orange. So I think what I want to do is just a plain, plain pumpkinella. Um, I'm going to be doing the white version of all of the pumpkin items that I have. Cordelia from Leaf Haven. And this is their creator code if you want to check it out. I highly recommend it because this person, oh, look at the designs, girl. Like that is some talent. Oh, that's some hardcore talent. I love that. But with my white skin, it looks kind of strange. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so let's get to changing our skin tone, first of all. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, so this is it. It looks so cute. Let's see. With the hair, I kind of want to do something a little bit more fancy. Is that cute? What if I did, like, green? Ooh, no, I'm kidding. Should we do, like, the down... Ooh, that kind of gives me pumpkin vibes. Not gonna lie, look at the back of this hair. Oof, pumpkin vibes or what? I feel like because it's pumpkinella, I have to do like one of the cooler types of eyes just because everything else is pretty, pretty tame. I think I might do this kind of like orangey eye. It's not really like that out there. It is orange, but it kind of looks like a brown from here. So I might do that. And yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do this. So cute. I look so cute. Okay, focus like in focus. We are going to be looking for new items that I don't have that are the new pumpkin items. So let's check and see if Nook Cranny has something new for me. I haven't really checked, honestly. Let's see what they have. Yes, okay, yes. Oh my God, yes. They have this table. I've been really waiting for this table. Please give me the spooky table. It's so expensive. Holy shoot. That's 22,000 bells. My guys. Oh my. Thanks, I guess. All right. Who's home? Zucker is not home. Marina is home. Let's see if she's doing something. A little DIY. Maybe give me something, please. Would be cute because it's special because it's from Marina. Marina is not doing anything, but her room is really cute. Thank you for letting me see that. Hi. I feel like I feel like I get less friendship points with them when I just go in and leave. Honestly, like it makes sense that way. Let's see if ketchup is doing something. Please, ketchup. Last time you were doing something, you gave me something amazing. Let's do it again. Yes. Okay, she's doing something. Let's see if it's the DIY that we want. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, fine. I should have read the instructions. Whatever. Uh oh, what's up, Lakin? What are you doing? Ahem, well, I'm making a spooky standing lamp. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep. Watch okay, this is the exact same dialogue as last time. Never mind. Hang on. I'm building a thing. Do you want to know? Yes, please. Imagine if I said I'm good, thanks. <laughs> oh, God. She writes down all her recipes. Here I go. The project can be customized too. Amazing. Thank you, ketchup. Okay, so we have two. Actually, we have three new things. Okay, so. I have my white pumpkins, we are ready. I have my spooky tower, which I got a while ago. And then I also have my spooky table and the spooky standing lamp. So we're gonna be doing three new things today. Honestly, I thought I was gonna have to time travel to get some of these, but it seems that it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Ooh, okay, so this is the spooky standing lamp. Oh, actually, wait, I already have one of these. 
but now I can make them anywhere. Oh, that's so cool. So I need hardwood for that. I am going to wait until like later to do that just because like I already I already have one. So I don't really need to know what it looks like. OK, so yes, this is the spooky tower. This is how you can customize it. Look at the faces. They're so cute. So this is the orange. This is the yellow. This is the green. And this is the monochrome. Surprisingly, the monochrome doesn't have like any of the 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 smirk face. But honestly, I'm not mad at it. Like we can do this all day. I'm ready for it. So that's cool. I mean, you can get any of them from the Nook's Cranny store, but then you get the DIYs and it's like you get to learn them. So you kind of get them forever. So I like how they're kind of pushing it out. It's like you get to have a taste of everything. And slowly, if you talk to your villagers, you get all the DIYs. So that's cool. I'm going to continue customizing since I have the spooky table. Um, I wonder if the face changes. I really hope the face changes, actually. So this is the orange. No, so the face changes. Okay, the face does not change. It's just like seems to be the vine color and the table color. So this is orange, yellow, green, and monochrome. But the inside doesn't change. That's interesting. Okay. So yes, we're going to be doing monochrome, of course. We need seven for the table. Makes sense because it is way more. I'm done customizing for now. Personally, I don't know where to put the table because it's such a humongous piece. Um, I guess I guess I would put it in my yard, right? Technically, because that's where it would work. Maybe I'll put it like down here, you know, spooky table place item. And I can have like a little spooky chair or something like later. I can move this. Yeah, OK, I'm just going to you know what? I'm just going to keep it there for now and we'll see what happens with it. And then also I have my spooky tower, which I think I'm going to be putting over here. Just because I only have one, I kind of want to see what it looks like right here. Oh, that looks so cute. I like how it looks next to my house, especially because it has like three different colors in it. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. So yeah, I mean, this is kind of all that I want to do today is kind of show you guys my new, my new little thingies. And then I also learned this, the spooky lamp, which I have never learned before. So that's really cool. Make sure that you talk to your villagers so that you get all the DIYs as possible. If not, then you're only limited to buying them from the Nook's Cranny for this month. So definitely make sure that you talk to your villagers as many times as you can. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are taking advantage of Halloween or like I keep on saying Halloween. I hope you guys are taking advantage of the month of October, making sure that you're getting as many items as you possibly can, especially candy. Um, and yeah, it's going to be it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.